Hey guys, it's Monday, my favorite day of the week. And today I'm going to be talking about versioning and visioning. Hey guys, so I'm going to discuss a few things that I've been thinking about since reading them on Twitter today. And uh, you can blame the power being out the other day that I've spent far too much time on, on Twitter in the last few days because it was simply the easiest platform to access. Anyway, moving on. So my friend Ahmed, he tweeted something around do agencies benefit from consultants versus hiring um, freelancers. Consultants would generally be more strategic and they would be more of an advisor and more, what's the best way to put this? The consultants are going to give you guidance, whereas freelancers are actually going to do something tangible. There's not a lot of consultancies that actually go and deliver anything. They're very good at strategically aligning your business and pointing you in the right di direction, creating a vision, and then kind of giving you the toolkit to go on your way. And why I've commonly seen this, it's, I don't think that that's their business model. I think that truthfully, they would like to see projects start and you know see them through and and have this end-to-end -end process but most companies probably couldn't pay the consulting fees because you're paying these big name consultancies and the truth is like i really don't understand why these consultancies have like popped up out of nowhere and why they charge so much money and i i assume it's possibly because of their collective ip something like that i'm not sure but for whatever reason, consultancies are seen as the be all and end all that know everything about everything. And I don't necessarily agree. I think there's some very bright minds that are sitting in agencies and that I'll get to in a moment. Freelancers have skills. So most freelancers that are out there are going to either come into your business or they're going to take a project and they are going to deliver on that project. There's not a lot of freelancers that do the kind of visionary work. You can, I've done it. Um, it's, it's a difficult thing to quantify. And so, you know, given that most freelancers are kind of one man bands, which is very sad because a lot of freelancers are probably the exact same people that could be in consultancies and if you know how most of these businesses run, it's not like the guys at the top or these big teams of people that are giving these consultants this endless amounts of knowledge, you know, and sharing it and therefore their consultants are wise. They're not. They Most of the times they are bums in seats. They are people who seem to have the confidence to walk into any organization, do a good song and dance where truthfully they don't really know what's going on, but they wing it pretty well. It's pretty insulting to some of the people that I think are quite brilliant. And I've got, I've got some great friends out there are phenomenal consultants, but if you know, I know from conversation with them that a lot of them, it's just where they are. I'm a consultant at the moment, looking for an opportunity to go back into a corporate environment or into an agency to leverage everything I've learned. But, you know, a consultant and a freelancer could pretty much be the same thing. If you're going to position yourself as anything, if you like the practical day to day, I just want to execute this design for you or whatever, be a freelancer. If you want to go in there and give, be an advisor and help them strategically and things like that and, and work in a contracted period, I'd probably say it's wise to be a consultant 
but there's probably a difference between the individual consultant and the consultancies but the truth is the output's not hugely different because at the end of the day it's still an individual working for a consultancy in saying that though um, moving away from the agency thing and going into in-house one of the other articles that I read was a guy was talking about that the differences between in-house teams and consultancies well he didn't really say it like that but um, this is what I'm taking out of it and how I'm tying this all together is that when you're in-house you generally your day-to-day -day design team and is going to deliver a version of the current design and keep leveling it up slowly and, and the whole thing and just keep going and going and iterating and iterating and iterating the whole time whereas a consultancy comes in and wows the execs because they got the opportunity to create a visionary uh, presentation that excites the execs that never translates like further down and doesn't really go anywhere but it gets the execs very excited and they're spending their money they believe quite wisely and uh, they seem to know where the North Star is and it's often doesn't really translate and, and carry on down into the rest of the corporation so it's quite sad for design teams that are working in-house I wish that more corporations would embrace the resources they have and realize that yes while they might be of the mindset of the organization they could still come up with some really great stuff because they know things that nobody else knows and yes fresh eyes do definitely help with design thinking i would not discount the value of the people that you have right under your nose and so I would always encourage and it's something that I've always done is I've always had a team that was separate from the day-to-day -day duties whose job it was make great leaps into versioning versus the little day-to-day -day leaps these are the guys that are setting the vision for the company they are breaking out of the typical kind of constraints that the rest of the team are bound by and that way you know you don't just kind of move the needle a little bit a little bit a little bit you can kind of daily move it and then suddenly you have a breakthrough and you can get sign in and you can have a huge shift and then carry on and carry on and then a huge shift so that's always been my approach that's the approach I would advise any company to take and hopefully you can see that there's certainly value as a consultant there's certainly value in consultancies and, and what they bring to the table but at the same time the resources you have they should be utilized better my name is Craig Jamison thanks for watching subscribe like leave a comment and stay cool